Hi OFW all over the world. How is our daily routine? Are we still kicking? Of course. Lahat yata ng OFW ay malakas ang loob upang labanan kung anumang pagsubok meron ang bawat OFW all over the world, of course. Okay, so this is our fourth video regarding the li legacy of life and living, which means to me, learning our past, living presently in God's ways, and uh, building our future relationship with my loving husband. As you can see, I don't have anyone here. I was alone because my husband is sleeping for 15 days until the 15th of August in the in other house of my of my boss, which is just five minutes away walking from my place right now. And I have to take I have to sleep alone here again for 15 days without him because uh the the mom of my boss is already old and i have to look after her especially that he is already she's already 87 years old so she could not sleep alone she is scared with this guy this, this big house so you know what uh i could not speak really clearly be because of this i am uncomfortable to talk because i cannot push my tongue properly or oh, what is this i cannot i could not push my tongue uh tongue because of this skeletical what is skeletical uh skeletical teeth i am wearing an skeletical teeth since the 2nd of july and it is not uh it not it doesn't mix me comfortable to talk it's really hard to pronounce some words because of the wire this wire I am wearing to protect my teeth or to, to make it uh, compressed because I have I don't have a very good teeth but anyway thanks God for having this kind of teeth than those <laughs> than those who were not <laughs> okay so kahit sino sa atin mas gugutuhin magkaganito yung ipin kahit ganito kapangit kaysa sa walang ipin di ba so still uh, thanking God for what we have because every blessing is coming from our father from the father from the almighty one so let us always be thankful from even it is just a little blessings still considered a blessings you know okay please uh sa mga hindi pa nag subscribe nag thumbs up nag share ng aking videos this is your right time please thumbs up now click the uh, share and subscribe Kasi marami kayong aabangan na story. So, I told you a while ago that this is the fourth, fourth video that I am going to upload in YouTube, in my channel. And I, and I hope that you are going to watch this. I can't pronounce watch because it's really hard for me to push my tongue. I hope everybody would click and watch this video so that you would be able to understand my story my life life my i and my husband mine and my husband's story and hopefully in the future i'm going to 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 upload more videos not only the story of uh, of our relationship but the the story the, the our life as we grown up <laughs> young Okay, so for the information of everybody, I came from a simple family and my husband too. At uh, marami-rami pa tayong dapat pag-usapan. And to those who do, didn't know us, this is the picture of my husband. And this is me. And this heart frame was given to me. Or oh, this is his gift when he was still court, court, courting me. When he was still in love with me. <laughs> He's still in love with me. Even now. But this was his present. When he was. When that vessel he was working. Uh, traveled to London. And when he came back. He has. He brought, with, he brought this with me. For me. 
So, ayan. So, so yun. Okay, so, yan. Um, you know, sa relationship bilang husband and wife, I think there is no perfect relationship. But, uh, bawat isa sa, sa atin, may mga role tayo sa buhay bilang wife and then bilang husband. Nasa sa atin lang kung paano natin i-handle yon And of course, in order for us to have the good relationship with our husband and, and wife, we have always to ask guidance from our Lord. Kasi, uh, siya lang talagang gagaway at siya lang ang magbibigay ng, solution, ng mga solusyon ng ating mga, mga, mga problema o ng mga trials mga pagsubok sa ating pag-aasawa. You know, I have here a scars. Ang daming distraction. This is my mark that, you know, when I when I renew my passport, I have to let the officer of the DFA, DFA to show this because this is the mark, the, just like birthmark. You know, this did this happen when I was according to my grandma when I was two years old I was crawling in the floor and my mom was ironing and when he ironed like this he hit the, he hit as uh, she hit me but not intentionally the iron hit me and it this was it but in a way it's okay I'm okay <laughs> okay Ah, uh, yun, ang sabi ko nga sa inyo, mabuti naging matibay ako sa lahat ng mga pagsubok, even yung depression, nakayanan ko yun kasi ang hirap kaya na naaksidente yung asawa mo na nasa malayo ka kasi that very moment that he was in hospital, na nag-aagaw buhay siya, and my, my employer is telling me, Ran, please, take your flight now, take your, uh, uh, search for let us search now for your ticket and fly tomorrow and uh, the last decision that I have in my mind is to stay to stay not to fly why maybe sasabihin ninyo hindi kumahal yung asawa ko kasi my option is not to fly the reason is not it's not because I don't love him the reason is because I stayed not to fly because um, I I choose to stay not to fly to the Philippines because it's gonna be useless, you know. I will just be spending money for nothing because if I am going to fly that time that my husband is be, is in between life and death, nothing will happen to us because th th that time that m my husband is in between life and death, the first. Uh, idea uh, the first thing that comes into my mind is a uh, run stay work 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 for the finances for the hospital bills at wag kang magpadalos-dalos na magbiyahe pa papuntang Pilipinas for it why i said it's going to be useless because he is in deep coma he is in deep sleep he is in coma so and the doctor told me that he didn't even know when to wake up so, I, I prefer to stay and work and send money for the finances. No? Katuwang ko yung aking mga in-laws, yung mga kapatid ng asawa ko because my husband belongs to a big family. They were 13 siblings. So, you know, hanggang ngayon, kinakalab kinikalabutan ako because even when I, when I talk to my sister-in-law at the Mercy because all the time that my husband was in the hospital, she was the one who looked after my husband every day. He took care of my husband from the day he was admitted until the day he was released from the hospital. Every time that I, I, I have to speak to them in video call, I always asked when he is going to, to wake up, even the doctor, I asked by te by mess sending messages when asking when is my husband will wake up you know wala na kap sabi and every day every day i always i always pray and pray asking god to please help my husband uh recover about this accident tapos every 
prayer that I have are granted. Every, every prayer always granted. No? Kasi kapag malakas yung kapit mo kay, kay God, all things that are impossible will be possible. Believe me. And it, isa yan sa mga nangyari sa buhay namin na, na talagang even sabi ng mga, ng mga biyanan ko na sila kaya na nila tanggapin kung hanggang doon lang yung husband ko. Masakit yon bilang parent. Pero syempre sila doon ang nakakaalam dahil sila yung nandoon nung inadmit yung husband ko sa ospital. Pero for me, sabi ko, sabi ko, Lord, alam kong isang tawag ko lang sa, pa- ng, sa pangalan mo. You will uh, help my husband recover. You will help my husband get out from that coma. And he answered my prayer. I know he answered my prayer because uh, every day na nag-work ako dito sa Spain, halos lahat ng pagkain ko hindi ko malunok, lahat ng, ng mga instruction sa akin ng boss ko hindi ko maintindihan, pasok sa kanan, labas sa kaliwa. Kasi yung alam mo yung nagtatrabaho ka na uh, out of mind ka, it's because you are thinking about your partner na gusto mo nang lumipad, gusto mo nang umuwi, gusto mo nang mag gusto mo nang samahan yung husband mo habang nag-aagaw buhay pero you cannot do it because naniniwala ka na na kung uuwi ka walang mangyayari because kailangan mo magtrabaho para sa mga sa mga bills ng asawa mo at naniniwala ka na kung gagawin mo itong choice na ito na pinili mo na magstay ka instead of going home alam mong nandyan si Lord na siya ang nag, nag-push sa'yo to get this kind of, uh, no, to, to, to have this idea. Yun, naniwala ko sa, sa ano, sa kung anong nasa puso ko at sinunod ko yun. Kaya walang regrets, lahat ng plans na nangyari sa, sa oras ng naaksidente yung asawa ko, walang pagsisisi. Kasi lahat hindi ako nagpadalos-dalos. Nung sinabi ko, ng, sinabi ko sa amo ko na yung asawa ko nag-aagaw buhay sa ospital. And then what, is, what did they advise me? Run! You fly now! Or fly tomorrow! Kasi wala nang ticket ngayon. Kasi syempre, kung ngayon ako agad lilipad, mabuhi sana kung Cebu to Manila lang. I, ito ay how many hours I am going to travel? 18 to 23 hours kasama yung mga stopover. 18 to 23 hours. Kasi... For example, magsistay ka sa airport ng 10, 8 to 10 hours. So, bibilangin mo yon. So, ngayon, um, ang pinili ko ngayon is magstay. Kaya, sabi ko sa inyo, hindi ako nagsisi sa lahat ng desisyon. At, tsaka, alam mo, napaka, ano lang, napaka, gusto, saludo lang ako sa ginawa ng husband ko. Kasi, every time, excuse me, every time na kinakausap ko siya through Skype, lagi nagre-respond siya. Tapos, sinasabi ko, Bihot kasi tawag ko sa kanya, sinasabi ko, Bihot, wake up ka na, kailangan mo nang gumising kasi para makalating ka na dito sa Spain, magsama na tayo habang buhay. Alam mo, minumove niya itong finger niya, kinaganon niya, pero lahat yan, may nakasalpak, mga, yung host na doon pinapadaan yung pagkain niya, yung dextrose niya dito, yung mga life support niya, ang daming nakakabit ng mga wire sa kanyang, dito sa heart. So, every day na i-video call ko siya sa Skype, I always talk to him, I always ask him, please, Bihot, magising ka na, gumising ka na para magsama na tayo. And he responded me dif- in a different way na naman. For example, kahapon, minove niya yung kamay niya o yung fingers niya. Kinabukasin na naman, luluha siya, ganyan, papatak isang malaking, malaking, malaking butil ng luha. Ipapatak niya. And I, I would understand that it is a form of reply to me to my to my to my uh what is this to my conversation to him na pinapadaan niya sa mga ano yung parang body language so sometimes he will move this way ganyan so ibig sabihin he is in coma but he listen to me he understand what i am saying tapos alam niyo yung gumising na siya after 15 days finally ah uh, galit na galit siya Nakita niya ako sa Skype. Sabi niya, ano daw, uh, sabi niya, uh, sabi niya, sino yung babaeng yan? 
itapon yan, itapon yan. Gusto niya itapon yung, yung cellphone. Kasi nagbibidyo call ako sa cellphone. Minsan sa tablet. Tapos never kami nag-usap sa computer. Laging sa cellphone, sa tablet, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos titingnan niya ako ng ganun. Iko-close up niya yung, ano niya, yung mukha niya doon sa camera. And then sasabihin niya, Sino yung babae niyan? Sino yung babae niyan sa camera? Itapon niyan, itapon niyan. Pinapatapon niyan yung cellphone. Galit na galit siya sa akin. Tapos alam niyo, napakasakit. Napakasakit na, na isa ka sa mga nagpifinance sa kanyang mga hospital bills. Tapos galit siya sa'yo. Hindi ka niya kilala. Kasi tinatanong ng mga sister-in-law, Sino yan? Sino yan sa video? Sabi, hindi ko yan kilala na babae niyan. Itapon na yan na cellphone. Itapon, i-off. Galit na galit siya. Tapos, pag nakakita niya yung sarili niya, maraming nakakabit, may mga wire, ay may mga uh, wire, I mean, may mga dextros, may mga kung ano-ano, kasi doon pinapadaan yung kanyang paghinga at saka yung pagkain niya, in, in, iwan ko kung anong ginagawa, dito sa ulo, meron siya dito, kasi binuksan, alam mo, galit na galit siya, gusto niya tanggalin, kaya nakakaawa siya, kasi yung, meron siyang pamangkin na napakalaki ng katawan, kaya I am so much thankful for you, Jeffrey, kasi talagang sinagaan mo yung asawa ko. Alam mo, kasi sa dami nilang nagbabantay, kayang-kaya niya yun ganunin. Kayang-kaya niya yan, itawag dito, ita- itila- itilapon. Kasi malaking tao siya nung aksidente siya, lumaki talaga siya. E, tapos, ang, nag- ang, ang, hindi lang maka- ang hindi lang niya maawat, yan si Jeffrey. Yung kanyang pamangki na gwapo, na malaking tao, na nagtsaga sa kanya. Kasi talagang Jeffrey... Saludo ako sa'yo kasi nag-resign ka talaga sa trabaho mo. Just to be with my husband. Just to be with my, to your tito, to your tiyo. Nag-resign ka talaga para, para mag-sacrifice ka sa tito mo magbantay. Kaya saludo ako sa mga pamangkin, ng asawa ko, sa mga kapatid niya, sa mga, sa mga kamag-anakan niya na, na araw-araw dumalaw sa kanyang hospital. Until now, you are in my heart. Hindi ko kayo makalibutan. Kasi, kayo yung pumalit sa role ko bilang asawa. Ginampanan nyo yung, yung dapat, yung dapat ako yan. Kaya, sobrang, sobrang, pag binabalikan ko yung kwento na yun, sobrang masarap, masakit, Masakit dahil wala ko doon, pero uh, on, the other ha- on the other side, napakasarap kasi ang dami nilang nagtulong-tulong para lagaan niyo yung asawa ko kasi napakabait na tao, napaka uh, he is a godly person, napakagalante, not only with his family but my family, especially yung mga yung mga memories na hindi ko makalimutan when when he helped my my younger sister I got emotional again I'm so sorry alam niyo yung pag-iyak ay uh, yung pag-iyak ko ngayon is ano lang to eh yung para halo yung emosyon na happy ako it's because nakasurvive kami nakasurvive yung husband ko and at the same time um, parang uh, gusto ko sa inyo i- 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 tawag dito I'm sharing this video na na, matut- na maging ano nyo maging um, isang panghugutan nyo ng mga inspira- ng mga ano ninyo rin yung mga problema nyo na pwede kayong makarelate and uh, pwede nyo para pwede pala nating gawin na na tawag dito inspirasyon o pwede na rin kaya pala nating gawin ang mga pagsubok na na dumarating sa buhay natin kaya wag tayong magsasawa mag magdasal wag tayong magsasawa magpasalamat sa Diyos kasi uh, itong nangyari sa amin you know, halos sinabi na wala na siyang buhay o I mean, walang pag-asa pero eto ngayon binigay siya sa akin ni healthy one day in my next video I'm going to show you my husband sa mga hindi nakakakilala sa kanya perhaps I will be making a video with him beside me uh, uh, kaya abangan nyo ang mga next video ko I will 
kasi gabing gabi na it's already 11 I, and I have to sleep because tomorrow I'll be working again so please uh, don't forget to click subscribe uh, click or thumbs up and share my videos and uh, abangan nyo pa yung mga next videos na gagawin ko at i-upload sa YouTube channel, my channel. And uh, please continue uh, subscribing and watching. Napakahirap magsalita ng may ganitong klaseng iskeletiko, yung iskeletikal teeth. I could not, fish, I could not push my, my tongue. Really, I'm so sorry sa mga interruption. So please, uh, I, will, I will end up my videos Uh, by saying um, goodbye, uh, pray hard, always, uh, always think that there is God bigger than our problem, and uh, kapit lang tayo sa ating mga sa ating mga uh, paniniwala at uh, yung ating big faith kay God, kasi everything will follow, everything will follow. Okay, so once again, bye-bye and have a good uh, night, have a good rest and be blessed to everyone. Be a blessing to your kapwa and always, uh, what's this, bear in mind that God is always a good God that will uh, guide us in every way we make every day. So bye-bye for now, bye-bye for now and... Uh, I hope you inspired my story and please watch my next video para mabuo itong kwento namin. Okay? So, bye-bye and God bless.